How did Jacinda Ardern become so rich? Today's video revolves around a world-renowned personality known for becoming the world's youngest female head of government, Miss Jacinda Ardern. Despite her other victories, what boggles the mind for most is the question of how Jacinda Ardern amassed all her wealth and fame in such a few years. Let us dive into the extraordinary lifestyle of one of New Zealand's most zealous and admired prime ministers today. In this video, we'll be exploring the wealth habits of the woman behind New Zealand's novel finance administration scheme. Stick around to find out the reason behind Jacinda Ardern's sudden estimated wealth increase of $290,000 in 2021 with an annual salary of just $471,049. Jacinda Kate Laurel Ardern is a phenomenal figure in New Zealand's politics. Rising to fame with becoming the leader of the New Zealand Labour Party, Jacinda Ardern eventually became the youngest Prime Minister that New Zealand has seen in over 150 years. Spending most of her childhood in a small poverty-stricken town known for its gang activity, Ardern had an extended first-hand exposure to inequality in the town. According to her, she was inspired to enter politics seeing children without shoes on their feet or anything to eat for lunch. Her journey to fame, financial mastery, and political success began with her joining the Labour Party back in 1999 when she was just 17 years old. Her involvement in the re-election of Harry Dunhoven, a Labour Party MP, set the backdrop to her future appointments for more significant roles. Upon graduation from the University of Waikato in New Zealand, Ardern became a researcher for Phil Goff, another MP from the Labour Party. This position got her the golden ticket to a role which could be considered the turning point of her life. Ardern was appointed to one of her first roles of significance. She was given a position on the staff alongside Prime Minister Helen Clark, who was the second woman of New Zealand to hold a position of such importance. Helen Clark became Jacinda Ardern's political hero and mentor. But what about her inspired Jacinda Ardern to become who she is today? What were her choices from a financial viewpoint? And how exactly did she amass all this wealth? Ardern's subsequent overseas experience proved that she was well on her way to becoming one of the most successful women in the world. Her overseas experience was unorthodox. Instead of working at a pub or warehouse in Britain, Jacinda Ardern worked for two-plus years in the cabinet office of Tony Blair, the then Prime Minister. Her role as the Director for Better Regulation Executive in the cabinet and subsequently as the President of the International Union of Socialist Youth took her around the world to countries like Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, Algeria, China, and India. Her early exposure to politics defined her trajectory, eventually getting her elected as the Prime Minister of New Zealand. On becoming the Prime Minister at the age of 37, for many, Jacinda Ardern's earnings and net worth often made a point of question and discussion. How her net worth skyrocketed within a few years was a reason for fascination and curiosity for netizens and citizens of the country alike. Earlier this year, the question of Jacinda Ardern's source of income was again brought to the limelight with a viral tweet that made rounds on the internet. It shared an excerpt from a report which estimated Ardern's net worth at $25 million. Again, begging the question of how. Another Twitter user also took to Twitter to comment the same. Jacinda Ardern's net worth as of November 4th last year was $800,000. Her net worth now is stated to be $25 million. This is a 3,125% increase. Her salary is only $470,000. Where in the fuck is all this money coming from? The seemingly mind-boggled Twitter user wondered. Upon a deeper look at the sources that make these claims, it turns out that these rumors about her pecuniary resources were far from accurate. The source of this information failed to back up their claims with facts and figures. A more informed estimation of it, however, would put Jacinda Ardern's net worth somewhere between five and 10 million. Now, five years after her appointment as prime minister, that still doesn't sound about right for a salary of less than 500000 does it? So, what's responsible for defining her net worth and also her sudden increase in wealth? Rejecting the $25 million figure, a UK-based website, The Focus, speculated that Arden's net worth is defined by the book she has authored. However, 
Jacinda Ardern hasn't authored any books herself, even though she features in several. Her contribution to the book Stardust and Substance in 2018 only amounted to a single chapter, which was a brief about 2017's New Zealand election. This would definitely not be sufficient to cause a significant change in her net worth. The website also mentions that her being named as one of the world's most influential women in multiple magazines played a role in defining her net worth. However, it is obvious that there is no financial gain in being named one of the most influential women or being ranked as number one in the list of the world's 50 greatest leaders in Fortune magazine. You might speculate that the sudden inflow of cash has something to do with her role as the Prime Minister of New Zealand, or that it has something to do with her long-sighted investing practices. First off, let's get that out of the way. The information about salaries of the members of Parliament are available to the public on New Zealand's government legislation website. And according to the information available, Ms. Ardern is paid $471,049 annually. Nothing here supports the rumored net worth most netizens alleged to her. Could it be her investing practices? Hardly so, since a quick search in New Zealand's companies registered for the name Jacinda Ardern doesn't return any results. This suggests that she's probably not a director or a shareholder in any business in New Zealand. Furthermore, the government of New Zealand also makes information about the parliament members' pecuniary and other business interests, real estate, gifts, and debts available for the public. That still doesn't seem to have an answer for our question today. However, on a deeper look at the problem, we figure that her surprising increase in wealth by $290,000 in 2021 is partly a result of capital gains. While Arden made less than half a million dollars from her job, it is one of her properties that resulted in the windfall in question. With the ongoing housing affordability crisis in New Zealand, Ardern's Auckland house skyrocketed in value by July 2021 to a whopping $2.35 million. To add to the effect, her own tax policies meant that her capital gains would go untaxed. As surprising as it sounds, it's not just the Prime Minister that is benefiting from these capital gains. In 2020, during the housing affordability crisis, properties around the country owned by MPs had an upwards trend in terms of value. Due to this, most parliament members enjoyed windfall capital gains. For a parliament that's very vocal and polarized in terms of political, administrative, and other issues, the MPs are almost monolithic when it comes to these capital gains being untaxed. What constantly becomes obvious is that most of the work in the movements and her net worth is thanks to her ownership of properties. This is the same for other MPs of New Zealand, whose tax policies ensure that capital gains are exempt from taxes. Over the years, Jacinda Ardern not only amassed wealth and fame as an individual, she also actively worked on imposing tax reforms and making administrative amendments to improve the situation of the country. Under her leadership, the Parliament of New Zealand has unveiled its first well-being budget, a novel approach to the country's finances. Ardern has also proven herself a humanitarian and environmentalist and has been a strong leader to all the New Zealanders. She has been vocal about the terrorist attacks in Christchurch, creating a sustainable low-emissions economy, lifting the Pacific and Maori incomes where she grew up, reducing childhood poverty, and overall pushing the country for betterment. Regardless of your political views, you can agree that Jacinda Ardern is an excellent leader as a person and as a head of government while being a responsible mom to a four-year-old. While we can only speculate on how Jacinda has amassed such wealth during her notable role as Prime Minister of New Zealand, the reality is we may never know the real truth behind the game.